morning, Tina Spalding, Trance Channel, here for our daily course in Miracles lesson together. Uh, today we are doing lesson number 99, Salvation is my only function here. Salvation and forgiveness are the same. They both imply that something has gone wrong, something to be saved from, forgiven for, something amiss that needs corrective change, something apart or different from the will of God. Thus do both terms imply a thing impossible, but yet which has occurred, resulting in a state of conflict, seen between what is and what could never be. Truth and illusions both are equal now, for both have happened. The impossible becomes the thing you need forgiveness for, salvation from. Salvation now becomes the borderland between the truth and illusion. It reflects the truth because it is the means by which you can escape illusions. Yet it is not yet the truth because it undoes what was never done. How could there be a meeting place at all where earth and heaven can be reconciled within a mind where both of them exist? The mind that sees illusion thinks them real. They have existed in that they are thoughts. And yet they are not real because the mind that thinks these thoughts is separate from God. What joins the separated mind and thoughts with mind and thought, which are forever one? What plan could hold the truth inviolate, yet recognize the need illusions bring and offer means by which they are undone without attack and with no touch of pain? What but a thought of God could be this plan by which the never done is overlooked and sins forgotten, which were never real? The Holy Spirit holds this plan of God exactly as it was received of him within the mind of God and in your own. It is apart from time in that its source is timeless, yet it operates in time because of your belief that time is real. Unshaken does the Holy Spirit look on what you see on sin and pain and death, on grief and separation and on loss. Yet does he know one thing must still be true? God is still love. This is not his will. This is the thought that brings illusions to the truth and sees them as appearances behind which is the changeless and the sure. This is the thought that saves and that forgives because it, lows, it lays no faith in what is not created by the only source it knows. This is the thought whose function is to save by giving you its function as your own. Salvation is your function with the one to whom the plan was given. Now are you entrusted with this plan along with him. He has one answer to appearances regardless of their form, their size, their depth or any attribute they seem to have. Salvation is my only function here. God still is love and this is not his will. You will you who will yet work miracles, be sure you practice well the idea for today. Try to perceive the strength in what you say, for these are words in which your freedom lies. Your father loves you. All the world of pain is not his will. Forgive yourself the thought he wanted this for you. Then let the thought with which he has replaced all your mistakes enter the darkened places of your mind. That thought the thoughts that never were his will. This part belongs to God, as does the rest. It does not think its solitary thoughts and make them real by hiding them from him. Let in the light and you will look upon no obstacle to what he wills for you. Open your secrets to his kindly light and see how bright this light still shines in you. Practice his thought today and let his light seek out and lighten up all darkened spots and shine through them to join them to the rest. It is God's will your mind be one with his. It is God's will that he has but one son. It is God's will that his one son is you. Think of these things in practicing today, and start the lesson that we learn today with this instruction in the way of truth. Salvation is my only function here. Salvation and forgiveness are the same. Then turn to him who shares your function here and let him teach you what you need to learn to lay all fear aside and know yourself as love which has no opposite in you. 
Forgive all thoughts which would oppose the truth of your completion, unity and peace. You cannot lose the gifts your father gave. You do not want to be another self. You have no function that is not of God. Forgive yourself, the one you think you made. Forgiveness and salvation are the same. Forgive what you have made and you are saved. There is a special, there is a special message today for, for today which has the power to remove all forms of doubt and fear forever from your mind. If you are tempted to believe them true, remember that appearances cannot withstand the truth these mighty words contain. Salvation is my only function here. God still is love, and this is not his will. Your only function tells you you are one. Remind yourself of this between the times you give five minutes to be shared with him who shares God plan, God's plan with you. Remind yourself, salvation is my only function here. Thus do you lay forgiveness on your mind and let all fear be gently laid aside that love may find its rightful place in you and show you that you are the Son of God. And that is our lesson for today. Lesson number 99, salvation is my only function here. Just a second, I've got to change things around a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> Let's see what Jesus has to say today. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus and forgiveness and salvation are one because when you practice forgiveness, you are no longer arguing with what is. What is is being manufactured and created from the collective mind of the Son of God. You are experiencing the end results, the, eff the effects of your thinking and your belief system and your values. So there is no point in arguing with reality because it is the end result of a lot of thought, a lot of rumination, a lot of ideas. So it is like having a mold that produces a candle and you are looking at the candle and there is a fault in the candle and you try to fix the candle. You shape it, you sand it, you smooth it until the fault is gone and then you make another candle but it has the same error in it and so you must do the work again you must shape it and sand it and smooth it until the error is gone this is what you would consider problem solving in your ordinary day and so the mold makes another candle and lo and behold isn't there another faulty candle being made you see, this is what most of you are doing. Every single day you encounter problems that are distortions being shown to you of the one mind of which you are a part, and yet you will not change the mold. The mold is what we are working on here. And that is why your life gets easier and easier when you choose forgiveness, for forgiveness is changing the mold. In forgiveness, you are no longer choosing separation. You are no longer removing yourself from love and your brothers and sisters, which are also love. You are, in fact, removing the error from the mold and you now will produce a faultless candle, i.e. your life will become increasingly faultless. In A Course in Miracles, this is referred to as the happy dream, where yes, you are still seemingly in a body. Yes, you are still seemingly in time. Yes, you are still seemingly walking the face of this planet. Yes, you are still in separation, but you are not under the gun. You are not being forced to participate unconsciously in miscreations. You are choosing consciously where your mind goes, what you focus on, and what you choose to let go of, because it is in the eternal now with the forgiving, loving mind that you have the ability to create what it is you'd like to experience. And that is what this world is for. It is not for the deep and terrible suffering that some of you go through.
that is enough to cause suicide attempts and successful attempts at times. It is not designed to be that way. You were designed to live a happy experience of separation. Playing out the games that you want to play out for a little while until you are tired of them. So let us get you back into a place of peace. Let us get you back into a place of joy and happiness. And then you can experience the things you want to experience in this 3D world that you call life. I am that one that you know as Jesus. We will speak to you again tomorrow. All right. Thank you for joining us. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.